My name is Kai. I'm a vocalist from Vancouver, BC. I was born in Burnaby and um, I've actually grown up all around Vancouver, the greater Vancouver area. I've lived in White Rock, lived in Surrey, lived in Burnaby, West Van, East Van, North Van, downtown, pretty much everywhere. That kind of just makes me different as an artist because, and because of my age, the, like the generation that I'm in, there's not really that many people who are in the forefront of the mainstream music that are my age and there's none that are my, from where I'm from, so it's like, it's an open, open slate, I guess. So I'm just trying to be fresh. I'm just trying to be. I'm just trying to represent who I am, and that's that's Vancouver. So it's it's not that hard for me to do. I feel like that's like uh, the one strong point of uh, Canadian music and Canadian hip hop in general is just that the artists here, because everything's so separated, it's not like big scene, big scene, big scene. It's like Vancouver, Toronto, Winnipeg, and Montreal, just all these separate scenes. So it's like you have to be different in order to reach the whole scope of people in Canada. It creates problems and growth, but I feel like it creates uh, definite gems and rare rare artists because they're so different. When you look at Chaos, as you said, or Classified, or Mocha Only, or Swan Members, or Rascals, it's just, uh, they're unique, right? They don't sound like anybody else, and I feel like that's uh gives me a strength because I feel like I don't sound like anyone else, and um, it gives me like a leg up, and it, it motivates me, makes me have hope in the Canadian music scene because it's not just like a carbon copy and it's not redundant. To see new things, so hopefully, uh, the growth will um, catch up with the uh, unique part of the music. Opening for these big artists is just uh, it's opened my mind to realizing that your show needs to be 100% on point. So, the Yellow Wolf, Bun B, Dead Prez, 3 Six Mafia, Joel Santana, all the people that I open for, can't remember all of them, but I've learned so much. I think my favorite might have been performance wise, I really liked Yellow Wolf. I learned a lot from Dead Prez, just the way they controlled the crowd and how crazy the crowd was. And they just had this like cult following, you know, the people like believed in exactly what they believed in. You know, it, was, it was some crazy energy. For me, I really liked the, the Bun B show because I, I'm a big fan of Bun B and he just, I got to meet him and opening up for him was just more uh, learning experience to seeing how he conducted himself as a show and seeing how the fans connect with the music. That's a big thing for me, like seeing how the fans know the words and how they connect with the person, not even just the music, they don't even care, it's just the personality of the performer. I see that and I just learn and I tailor my music to make sure that when I, when I do it live, it can have that connect with people. I feel like because I'm so different and because I don't, I don't sound like anything that is in the forefront of music, it's, um, I usually get a good reception and we usually just as a team, B Sharp as a whole, we get a good reception when we open up for artists because it's, it's up to the caliber, but it's not the same, you know what I mean? It's not like we're just, a replacement it's like not like oh ice cubes coming into town and we sound kind of like ice cube but not as good so let's open for ice cube it's not really like that so i think the the crowd the crowd appreciates it when it's an opening act that they're not expecting to be something that's going to catch their attention and then it's something that they always remember that's how, how we get a lot of fans actually is opening up for artists and people just being like whoa i never expected that so i feel like i really i make sure i pick my song selection for the sets that i do to really suit the artists that I'm, I'm opening for but i don't really try to change myself i just pick the parts of me that i think will shine the best in that situation so i feel like when i open up for dead prez i try to pick like the most like inspirational like heartfelt songs you know i mean they were still like hard and like they were still hard and they still had banging beats, but the message was there. And with Bun B, I tried to pick the things that were the most swagged out and the most like energy and just like the live tracks, right? So with every show, I feel like um, I really try to capture it so that if you're a fan of the person that I'm opening for, I make sure that I, you'll remember me. You know what I mean, you won't forget seeing me perform. Man stole the roaches, you dead guy. Fuck a rhyme scheme, all about timing, all about my team. Assonance climbing the charts, reviving the hearts of this rhyme thing can't change fate. Uh, the B-Sharp movement is just a collective of young artists, uh, producers, musicians, um, videographers, photographers. It's pretty much just an amalgamation of a bunch of young people with a like-minded goal, and we're all trying to get to the same place, so we pretty much just help each other out. We got like a huge, uh, not a huge, but a pretty strong roster of artists. We got myself and Atlan, which is the Shadas. We got Matt Brebner as a solo artist. And then we got my, a group, which is Matt Brebner and myself, which is the Hoodwinks. And then we got Subway and Guy Woods, which is the Scale Breakers. So I feel like we got pretty much something for everybody. We got a flavor for everyone. So the B-Sharp movement is pretty much just like a positive movement of real music just trying to spread across Canada and across the rest of the world because I feel like we're just hitting people with reality. Um, for this uh, 2011 um, 
We've got a lot of uh, pending releases that are going to be coming out. I think the first thing that we're going to drop is going to be my solo album. It's produced by Low Kino. That's going to be called Law of Attraction. We're going to be putting that out in the next few months. It's going to be a pretty crazy project. I got a lot of videos and things lined up for that. So hopefully that'll go well. And then after my solo album, we're going to be doing a compilation project where we're putting out a bunch of free singles from B Sharp. Whether they be from myself or from the Hoodwinks, which is Matt Brevner and myself, or from Shadas or from Scale Breakers, or from an, an amalgamation of any of those artists, you know what I mean? Or production from Sonny Palmar, production from Low Kino, production from Speechless. So it's just gonna be pretty crazy. And um, then after that, after we do the free songs and a bunch of free singles just to give the fans, like, you know, just give the fans like a gift kind of thing, then uh, me and Matt, Matt Brevner are gonna be putting out a Hoodwinks mixtape, which is gonna be a. Uh, pretty wild so we're pretty excited for that but that's kind of more coming soon pending release can't really say much about so uh, people should be looking uh, for big things in the future from the team I feel like the difference between when I'm working with somebody else and like a duo or a group form or a collaboration compares to working solo is just the fact that um, when I'm working solo I feel like there's like a a little bit of a pressure on me but it's a good pressure it's just a pressure to make sure that I'm hitting every fucking every word and I'm hitting everything to make sure that it's going to affect people the way I want it to. So when I'm collaborating, I'm more thinking of the chemistry between the person I'm working with as well as just a bigger picture of how uh, their point of view is and how I can fit in with that and how I can coexist. So I feel like collaborating is a little bit um, almost less pressure and a little bit more like fun oriented in a sense. I have a little bit more fun with it because it's not as uh, serious in my opinion. But it depends because when I make music with Matt Brevner, the Hoodwinks, we can get on a really serious tip, but that's just the way that we are together. That's like how our friendship is, you know what I mean? We're very, we always talk about things that are very serious, so the music we make together is very serious. I mean, the, mu the, the friendship that I have with Atlan and the thing that I have with Shada is as musical as uh, our relationship as friends is like very thoughtful and very like, um, I guess, tripped out. <laughs> we hang out together and get tripped out, so. That's the music that we make, right? I guess it just reflects the chemistry that you have with the person. So I feel like solo music is a lot more personal. This is Kai, and you're watching Fistful of Sounds. Um, this is from a metal pipe. Um, I got no front tooth. And this is my dog, Thor. And I'm left-handed. And I don't like you. Five things.